Hi uh, guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Sports Domicile, the home of sports. If you are just joining, please don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you get notified when I drop a new video. Thank you. Hi everyone, and you're welcome to today's episode of Sports Domicile, the home of sports. And today we're talking about Premier League opening weekend recap, talking point, and detailed analysis of each matches. Let me run down through all the results for all the games. Burnley 0, Manchester City 3, Arsenal 2, Northern Forest 1, Bournemouth 1, Western 1, Brighton 4 1 against Luton Town, Everton New, Fulham 1, Sheffield United 0, Crystal Palace 1, Newcastle United 5, Aston Villa 1, Benford 2, Sports 2, Chelsea Mamadou with Liverpool, Manchester United 1 and Wolves new. Now let's move into detailed analysis of each game. Starting from the first game that went down at Stoffmore between Burnley and City, which ended 3 0 in favour of the citizens, with Ireland opening the scoring in the fourth minute and doubling the lead in the 36 minute before Rodri added the third. Early Ireland has now scored 38 primary goals in 36 matches. Now moving on to the early kickoff of Saturday afternoon between Arsenal and Nottingham Forest at the MW Stadium, which Arsenal won by two goals to one. Early Ketia gave Arsenal the lead in the 26th minute before Bukayo Saka sealing the win with a goal. Nottingham Forest responded with a goal from Taiwo Awuni, who came from the bench and made his presence in the 83rd minute. Moving down to the simultaneous kickoff matches, starting with Brighton. Brighton beat Lutitan by 4 goals to 1, which Jao Pedro, Samadiga, Solimach, and Faguzin all scoring for the Seagulls. While Lutitan Town pulled one back through the last season, Iago scorer, Katin Morris, who coveted from the spot. Now, moving on to the next game between West Ham and Bournemouth at the Vitality Stadium, which Dominic Solanke saved a draw for Bournemouth after Dara Bore has already given the Amas the lead in the game. Now, let's move on to the game between Everton and Fulham, which Bobby Reid came from the bench to score the winning goal as they beat Everton away from home in the opening game of the new Premier League season. Now moving on to Sheffield vs Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace without Wilfred Zaha defeated Sheffield away from home with Edward with the only goal in the game. Now let's move on to the last game that went down on Saturday which was the game between Aston Villa and Nick Castle which saw the annihilation of Aston Villa after the Magpies put 5 goals past them and managed to pull one back in the opening 10 minutes of the game through Musa Diaby. Tonali, Isaac, scoring brace, Wissing, and Avibans all on the score sheet for Nikas 2. Now to the games that happened on Sunday between Brentford and Kinless Tottenham as the game ended in a dramatic 4 goal thriller with 2 goals apiece. Imbemo scoring from the spot and Wissa scoring for the home side, while Romero and Emerson Oya on the score sheet for the west side. Now to the biggest feature of the opening weekend of the new Premier League season, which went at the Stamford Bridge between Chelsea and Liverpool, which ended in a 1-1 draw after 19 minutes. Luis Diaz opened the scoring for Liverpool before the Sassi equalised for Chelsea. Both teams had one goal, each ruled out for offside. In the match, the game was exciting and we saw a beautiful game of football between Liverpool and Chelsea. Now to the last game that went down on Monday when we saw Manchester United struggle to beat unstable Wolves with a solitary goal coming from an unexpected source in person of Rafael Varane, which the game ended in controversies after the new goalkeeper Andre Orana fought a Wolves player which was supposed to be a PK penalty but it wasn't given. I don't know it was Poor officiating during the match between Manchester United at the Old Trafford against Wood. Oh, oh. So now, guys, let me know in the comment section of your of how you see the performance of your team you support in the Premier League. 
during the opening weekend. Thank you for watching. God bless you.